Hello beautiful people, hope everybody is doing good. The reason for making this video is just a simple um, thing I want to show you. Um, a few people asked me when I make, made my the first video on um, um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare um, that like you know how they can rebuild their database and all that and um, the reason why I'm, why I'm sharing this video is not only for that, not only for Call of Duty, it's actually that menu has a lot of things um, and uh, with that menu you can also optimize your playstation 5 so if your playstation 5 is having some problems it's acting slow uh, some games are not being downloaded and all that there are a few settings that you can um, change over there uh, or there are a few settings that you can use and make it more optimized make it more make it more faster so i'm going to show you step by step how to do that but the first thing is uh let's start let's 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 go through the first steps step one so the step one is first of all you need to connect your playstation 5 controller uh using the usb um to the playstation 5 and the reason why i'm saying that is because once you have connected that through the usb and then you go onto that um menu uh if it was connected wirelessly you won't be able to make any set any adjustments i'm going to show you now what to what, what's the next step uh, the second step is to press the PlayStation 5 button, but not um, just for a small time. If you need to keep on pressing it until we hear a second beep. So I, what on PlayStation 5, what confuses me is these two buttons are nearly the same. Um, this is a eject button and the PlayStation 5 buttons are like a long button. So I'm going to keep on pressing it. First beep, still pressing it. And that's the second beep. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it now because I've got a second beep. Now I'm going to wait for it to load. Now this is the step three. If uh, you have already pressed the PlayStation button on your controller, it won't show this message. But because I'm going step by step, I'm going to now press the PlayStation button. And after pressing the PlayStation 5 button, you, you, you can see this menu. So it's a safe mode. You've got restart PlayStation 5 button, change video output, uh, update system software, restore default settings, clear cache and rebuild database. That's what we will be looking at and then reset ps5 that's more like factory reset and reset ps5 reinstall system software so if everything is working perfectly fine on your playstation 5 and by perfectly fine i mean like the software is working fine and everything else is don't do any of those those settings uh the last two six and seven don't reset it um but yeah for uh, the like you know if you're having problem with your game if it's not if it's if it's a bit slow it's like you know if your playstation 5 is acting a bit like you know weird sometimes you can always go for the option number five. So I'm going to go to that option. And once you click on that option, there are two options. The first one is clear system software cache. And the second one is rebuild database. So for games like Call of Duty, Modern Warfare and all that, which have like data pack, uh, sorry, data pack issues, uh, they usually recommend doing a rebuild data database, even though it didn't help me, but it helps some, like, you know, some of the people. Uh, but for other problems, like, you know, if your PS5 is not, uh, if it's a bit slow and all that, uh, a clear system software cache always helps. So um, it won't delete your games and all that, but it will delete all the temporary files. So it's always um, good to do if your PlayStation 5 is not working um, very well. But that's it. Uh, that's the main aim of the video. If you need any help or anything, just like, you know, feel free to write that in the comment section. And uh, please like and subscribe. Um, thank you.